Part one, how firm is your foundation? Firm foundations enable growth and they encourage growth too. The better the foundation, the better your chance of success. Think of it this way, you're building a business, so build it to grow. Up, straight up. Only one business in a million survives not having a firm foundation. So how firm is your foundation? Here's how to tell. What is your net worth? And what, for starters, is net worth anyway? Well, the simple way to answer that is to add up all that you own and subtract from that all that you owe. The balance, the difference between what you owe and what you own is your net worth. Let's add them up. The value of your house plus car plus tangible assets plus RSP and TFSA as well as any trademarks you may have equals what you own. Okay, now it's time to total up your financial obligations or debts as they're called. Legal obligations including income tax, sales tax, GST, HST, payroll, WCB, plus mortgage payment, plus car payment, plus credit card balance, plus loans, including any personal loans, equals what you owe. Net worth also includes one other factor, and that's what you insure. What do you pay insurance on? Your house, your car, life disability and critical illness insurance, and business insurance, don't forget that. These are payments you need to account for and these costs get added into the what I owe amount. Depending on your age and your stage in life, your net worth may be high or it may be low. It may be positive, or if you're just out of school and have high debts to pay, it may be negative. Regardless, knowing your net worth provides you with the knowledge that will enable you to determine what you can build, where, how high, and how fast. So from this moment forward, Every good financial move you make will raise your net worth. Conversely, any poor financial decisions you make will lower your net worth. So why is your net worth so important? Well, your suppliers, the bank, including bank of mom and dad, lenders, employees, contractors, they're all going to want to know that you're in it for the long haul. They also want to know that they're going to get paid, and paid in a timely manner. They need to know you're good for it. Not just good for the money, but the products, the services, everything you're providing. The operations, the finances, the compliance, all of it. Your credit rating or credit score and your ability to raise capital is based on more than just you and your idea. It's largely dependent on your net worth and whether or not you're good at managing your money. You have to be able to pay your bills. If you're starting from a negative position, unless you're very convincing, your backers will likely back off or back out altogether. You're going to have to prove yourself over and over again just to stay afloat, paying your bills as you go. And should you ever not be able to pay your bills as promised, you have to have the guts to call and make arrangements. If you can't make that call, you're finished before you even start. Now, hopefully I've convinced you that it's worth knowing your net worth. And knowing which way your net worth goes, up or down, depends very much on the second of our five topics.